So let's see, pay two, pay two. So it's it's an extra four. One, two, three is all I need, and then one, two, three, four. I can pay it. That's gonna work. Oh shit. Oh, okay, bye bye. <laughs> I thought he was GG me, like I was stuck there for a minute. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Happy Hour. I'm your host, Mahi Man, and today we are going over an updated version of a deck that I played way earlier when I think Kamigawa first came out of a Rakdos artifact sent around uh, the Oni Cult Anvil of this for a black and a red artifact that says whenever one or more artifacts you control leave the battlefield during your turn. Ready, one, one, colorless, color strike, artifact creature token. This ability triggers only once each turn, and then for if you tap it, Sacrifice an artifact, only called Anvil, deals one damage to each opponent, and you gain one life. And there's our token artifact creature construct there. So the first time I ran this, I didn't have this exact buildup. And I, I think right now it's a little, a little hastier, a little more aggro, and works out really, really well for this deck overall. And I, it actually helped propel me to Diamond and another rank in Diamond. So uh, if you go and check out the stats that uh, will be posted on Untap with the deck list, uh, just be know that that things are like, once again skewed because I, I keep playing mobile just you know late at night uh, in bed before I go to sleep instead of just jumping on the computer and getting the stats through one tap. So so take that with a grain of salt. If you believe me, then maybe you believe, but if you see those gaps in, in the grass, no, it's because of this deck and it works out very well. So what are the updates that we've done to it? Well, we have a lot of cards in here that are going to generate blood tokens, something that I wasn't running the first time. So what do we have for that? We have Voldaren Epicure for that. So besides creating a blood token, uh, enters battlefield, deals one damage to each opponent, and it creates a blood token. So also good to have out here just for a great chump blocker and uh, and for fodder for your meat hook massacre as well. Then we have the blood the blood fountain, which is good for a one for just one black creature your blood token. And then for three and a black, you can sacrifice the blood fountain and return to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand, which is nice because later game. Uh, when you have enough man on the field, you can do this for three and a black and then maybe get something cheap like the Blood Tide Harvester or Voldaren Epicure or even the Reinforced Ruin and throw that down on the field and get in some more extra damage that way. And rounding out our Blood Token creators, we have Blood Tide Harvester for a black and a red. Uh, when it's battlefield, it creates a blood token and you can sacrifice it and uh, target creature gets minus six minus X until end of turn where X is twice the number of blood tokens you control. Activate only as a sorcery. So... A little bit of removal option going on here with Blood Tithe Harvester, but for a 2-drop, a 3-2, it's pretty nice for a block or if there's something on the board, uh, going in there for 3 damage every turn. Very, very nice. So that helps out our Oni Code Anvil because we can sacrifice each of those blood tokens every turn uh, to create that artifact con construct and build a nice army of them. Uh, looking back, forgot to go over this one. Sanguine Statuette for 1 and a red. That's the same thing as the Blood Fountain, but whenever you sacrifice a blood token, you may have Sanguine Statuette become a 3-3 vampire artifact creature with haste until end of turn. So generating those blood tokens is really going to help us out, uh, especially once we're able to sacrifice it with the Oni Cult Anvil. I guess it's a 3-3 on the board, punching in the face for more damage. So, and now one more combination of that. We have the Reinforced Ronin. Just for a single red artifact creature, 2-2, uh, two, two, has haste at the beginning of your end step, return Reinforced Ronin to its owner's hand. So since Oni Code Anvil reads whenever an artifact you control leaves the battlefield, you can have the Ronin come in, do two two do its two damage, pop up, pop on back out, and then create your construct creature token at the end of the turn without having to burn one of those. Or if you're out of blood tokens, uh, you could just keep generating these construct tokens, uh, building a nice wide army of them on the field. And also, also be noted that you don't have to attack or reinforce Ronin no matter what at the end of the turn it will return to your hand generating that uh, construct token. So keep that in mind if you don't want to lose the run for more attacks or to put it back in your hand for its channel ability for one in red, discard it and draw a card. We've got Voltasters in here, a cheap uh, removal spell where it does two damage to creature or planeswalker, or you could uh, sacrifice an artifact and it deals four damage instead. So uh, also good removal there to target other creatures or planeswalkers. Rounding it out, we got the Silken Zen Smelter. So at the beginning of your combat on your turn, you may pay one to sacrifice artifact and do create three one red construct artifact creature token with haste. Nice hasty uh, mono red or um, yeah, red strategy of uh, getting there for phase four uh, you know, early in the game. Definitely by turn three, you should be able to do this. Meat Hook Massacre rounding it out if you want to clear the board and do some extra damage. Should be very easy to do with a bunch of one ones down or even just uh, cast it for zero 
because you're gonna be burning those constructs most of the time anyway uh, to get some extra damage uh, from the anvil and the combination music massacre. And finally, Henrika Domnathi rounds out the deck for two and two black. Uh, flying at the beginning of combat on your turn, choose one that hasn't been chosen. Each player sacrifices a creature, draw a card and lose one life, or you can transform her to become Henrika Infernal Seer. As flying death touch and lifelink, and for one and two black, each creature you control with flying death touch or lifelink gets <clears throat> plus one plus zero until end of turn. Most likely this is just Henrika uh, in this case. So, but still, bumper up just from a three four to a four four if you have the uh, man the mana to do it gives you pretty nice life gain on the attack or just makes her a, a great defender especially with the death touch that could leave her on the board as as a four four and uh you know getting the card draw there and uh forcing your player another player to sacrifice a creature is a big help to clear the board for you attack with your construct creatures or uh your uh token the other three one artifact creatures as well at the end so a lot of great strategy in, in the deck i'll say right right off the bat a big uh, thing that works against this is if you are playing against Mono White, of course, Mono White, always Mono White, and they play uh, Valkyria's Shield uh, from the other side of Redain. It, it's a big pain in the butt because only called Anvil uh, does not immediately becomes useless because uh, you want to sacrifice it, you could deal one damage to each opponent, and it blocks that damage. And even having a huge army of constructed creatures is not going to do it. But luckily, that's why we're running Meat Hook Massacre. Uh, because uh, it does, uh, it says loses a life instead of does damage. So it, you can still get uh, what you need to out of that, just in case if they're running the shield. So keep that in mind. Not all hope is lost. Hopefully, Mono White doesn't run over your face before you have the chance to cast a Mutic Master. Clear your clear your board, clear their board, and do some damage to their life overall. So let me know what you think about the deck. I think it's a big upgrade from what I was running earlier on. Uh, if you want to check out that video, I'll put a link. In the, I'll put a link in this video as well as uh, in the description at the bottom. See how I changed it. Again, I think this is the uh, better way of playing for sure because of just how much quicker this runs compared to the original version of the deck that I was running. So uh, again, as always, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post videos and, and such things like that. Uh, make sure you, uh, you check out my Twitch channel where I uh, live stream these decks, test them out. Always looking for feedback and some uh, interaction with the community through there. It's fun talking to people and understanding different ways of playing certain decks. So come on by and let me know what you think. And then on Twitter where I post my links for Twitch and uh, YouTube when videos are posted and when I go live so you can stay up to date for all things uh, Von he -Man's happy hour. So check out those, those socials. Let me know what you think about the deck. Drop a comment down below. And this week, later on, Thursday, I believe, coming out, our, our new Capenna is releasing. So uh, stop by uh, my Twitch channel this weekend and look out for uh, videos dropping for new Capenna uh, decks. Uh, you've seen other creators uh, already mulling about, mixing things up, trying to get things figured out. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't done too much of that yet. I've been, ch I've been checking it out, uh, seeing what uh, car spoilers are out there to see what, what are we going to build to start this all off and what's going to be good. Uh, I think just for a little teaser, I'm going to go straight off with angels. We're going to see how an angel deck will roll in the new uh, in the new meta. I, I think with some additions that are coming out from New Capenna, things are going to be looking pretty good for angels. Not not the ultimate breaker, but a good deck overall. That is a play style that I like to do. So so stick around, drop drop by again if if you like that type of play style. So thank you for stopping by as always, and enjoy the matches. Jumping right in. Oh, switch it over. Oh, it goes first. That's not fun. Uh, we got some moves here, though. All right, let's shoot the face, make a token. Starting off with the hog the mauling. A little mono black action. I have been seeing a lot of black mirrors against this deck. Not sure if that's good or bad, honestly. Alright, another Epicure or just Ah uh, yeah, we'll do, we'll do another Epicure do Anvil on the next turn. Okay, got it. 
a priority held here, but let's still go with the attack. We don't really care about these epicures. Like once once they get the burn and you get the token out of them, they just they're there to chump block. Okay. Alright, little flash of blue in there, so gotta keep that in mind. Alright, smelter. That's good. So now we can start building three one tokens. Um Actually, hmm, I'm not sure what they're holding up a priority, so let's do, do the anvil first. I counter this. If they do. I was punched for two. Okay, so they run some counters. My, I guess it's. I, might be straight up Demir. Yeah, it's just it's just Demir. Another den. All right, put that down. Let's see if we can do the smelter. Will you let me? Oh, you did. Okay. Let's see if our three-one artifact can make it. Well, the smelter's not going to make it, and we get a march. I got enough for Henrika on the next turn. Playing this very slow. Jelly. To hold them back for something. Alright, another smelter. Another smelter. Huh. Yeah, it's just that what what do I what do I feel like getting countered here? We already gave up one smelter. Let's try let's try Henrika. All right, they do siphon insight. All right, they throw it back down. Okay, let's get a card draw. Hmm, swamp. All right. So we still got our other ability where we can sacrifice a creature, no problem sacrificing the Epicure on my end. So they decide to play one of my cards, or if they have any creatures, that, that'd be worth attack or killing. Like another Henrika. So let's see what they decide to do with her. I wonder if that's that my Henrika or their Henrika. I think it's mine. I was I didn't see where the card came out of. Mm, okay. Okay, they do card draw as well. So we got the Voltage Surge. We can, uh, they're tapped out, so let's kill that Henrika. Blood Fountain there. Alright, let's just do that. There we go. Uh, yep, let's, let's get the Smelter going. We could do a Blood Fountain too, so that's great. Transform. Okay, get rid of that. All right, big hit. Nice. Got some life gain there. But like I said, Henrika. Henrika was a big upgrade for me to put into this deck. I was wondering what, like, what, what could I put in there that that'll help me, you know, round this thing out. Besides just sacrificing artifacts and having having her in there has been a big help. All right, that's that's my harvester. My harvester. Well, that's fine. The hive down. We can play the bug, the bugbear, and see if we can get the kill. A 
pull back the epic cure just in case we need to block. We do have a. Uh, I was about to say, they got enough mana to mess with us, but they say no thanks. Go, Diego, go! Why does the opponent keep getting to go first? Turn two face. Uh, it's bad, I can't cast it. Well, we could cast it, but... I'd rather do that. Got the block. Maybe? Didn't think so. All right, smelt the next turn. We'll start building a bankbuster. Start building our three-one token army. Beat up, okay. Third. Oh, we got another one. Brutal Cathar. Stupid Legion Angels. Um, yeah, please, please, please. Tapped land. Hmm, alright, so Harvester, get another 3 1. Keep the Ronin back, no point. No point in playing them. I'm just gonna crew the bank buster. Mm. Everybody uses use it for its charge ability. I'm okay. I'm not used to. Um. Oh, that's why I was like, well, how'd they get the Legion Angels out there seeding like that? At the treasure. Okay, I go first. I like it. I like it. One, got two, got three. Against the old mono white. What's the win rate tonight? Uh, about 50 50 so far. Damn you, Thalia. Eat you. Uh, let's see. Should we do the smelter? Not with Thalia, unfortunately. Actually, what does he do? Sacrifice. Target creature gets minus X, minus X. Hmm. Only as a sorcery. 
think this will pay off in the long run if we do that. I'm gonna do it. I spill some defenses. Definitely humans. Oh, the Proctor. I don't think I have anything ETB, so not a huge, huge worry there. Yes, please. And that. Got the Epicure next turn where we could get um, another artifact out there, or we could just put down another smelter and sacrifice two one ones that we have. That might be a better idea. Let's get aggressive with that. Ah, uh, okay. Well, good thing we did it then. That's an artifact, so we could just we could just sacrifice the clue. Yes, it's all, I mean, it's all coming together. And then we got the Meat Hook Massacre ready to go, too, which is going to be a big... We got a lot of tokens here. That's a lot of damage on, on their end. Enough, um, for... Okay. Ah, okay. So the, the shield the shield sucks because it negates damage from the anvil, but we can still get life gain out of it, so it's, it's still useful. Don't be afraid to not sacrifice your tokens. This is good. Now we can do the anvil. We can two. We got two anvils now. Right, right, right. Um, I pay two. You know what? I'll do it. Except before, I didn't think I had any TB, and that was this. That's the one. Feature I have with the ETB. Right. If they block it, still kill them. But they're going for it. Oh no, it was a 3 3. Okay. Mm. Should have sacrificed. Yeah, the, the, shield, the shield always like screws me up. I, I never. Um, that I don't pay attention to it, but it's just like sometimes you you just forget how the damage is applied. Not enough to throw down the meat hook on that. Do uh do an anvil. Um, should we? Oh, well. Hmm, I guess we do. These little 1-1s one aren't going to do any, any life damage. They're just 1-1s. One so there's, no, there's no point in attacking at all. I guess I could go with the smelter and this one. Hmm. Let's say no. Call it a turn. See, this is loses one life, so that's good. It's not damage. At least I don't think so. I don't think that's how it reads. Fountain, okay. Okay. All right. Three. 
break the army. So let's let's send them. One will die to the Proctor, but they block with the Aspirant. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Not two damage. Two damage is two damage. All right, sacrifice it. Let's see, we got five to five, seven, eight, nine, ten. If if the meat hook works the way I think it's supposed to work. Right, because let's see. Let's let's read it. If source and opponent controls would deal damage to your primary control, prevent one of that damage. This says you lose one life. It's not deals one damn damage. I think it works the way it's supposed to work. I think so. At the least, we can meet hook for three. I oh, know we have to pay. Ah, uh, this proctor's killing me. Let's pay four extra now. Hmm. Then his bugbear doesn't do anything for me here. This is tough. Well, I guess I only need to pay for one. I'm thinking about wiping them, and that's not going to work. What do I have in graveyard? Nope. Let's pay this. I guess, I guess that was a bad move. Man, that shield is really killing me. No land. Lands are helpful. Ah, you can't. Oh no, it's not blood tokens. Hmm. I need blood tokens. <laughs> this is a pickle. This is a pickle. All right, let's just keep making three ones. We have three that can attack. They'll all die, though. We can send the Blood Tithe Harvester. I think we wait one more turn, though. Because if we get Blood Tokens, then we can use the Harvester to kill the Proctor. We need two of them, though, to do four damage. Land. Okay. Let's see, pay two, pay two, so it's, it's an extra four. One, two, three is all I need, and then one, two, three, four. I can pay it. That's gonna work. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I thought he was GG me, like I was stuck there for a minute. Red, red, red. Go first. It, it, it could work. It could work. That vibes on official video. It was so. That was. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, that was so good.
interesting. Is this, is this Azorius mill? New to me, man. Alright, get the Harvester down, Anvil probably next turn. Hopefully get another land would be nice if we do another Harvester with the Anvil. Really build up our uh, token base here. Okay. Ooh, the meat hook. Get another harvester. Play block. Oh, thank you. All right. Let's see if they were gonna block for both there. I figured they would, they're just there for a block, it's not a enchantments deck either, so the companion is, um... Maybe it is an enchantments deck. Well, now I'm confused. Not a huge deal. Enchantments with a splash. With, I don't know what this is. Uh, they are simply wasting space in their deck. They vanish into the shadow realm. <laughs> yeah. Yo, speaking of that, I heard that. You, I think the Yu-Gi-Oh! game came out a couple months ago. I heard it's, like, very good. Paladin class, alright. I guess this is really just built around Hall of Haunting. I'll send that. Ah, oh, we should have sent them all. I forgot. I forgot that the spirits power up each other. It's like Kenobi doesn't know how to make something of the Pachika machines. I guess yeah. They got they got Yu-Gi-Oh down. What is this? Oh, Intercessor's Arrest. Champ permanent, change of permanent can't attack, block, or crew via. Okay. Okay. Alright, this is a pickle now. Trying to make blockers, but they're gonna they're gonna be at the seven damage soon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you just need one more, and yeah, that's game over. Let's see, get ready to concede. Okay, I guess you could do that too. Fortel, all right. Sure, what I'm supposed to be doing, but this seems like the right idea. Her becoming a three-three, so they have 
four. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna block everything. I don't kill anything. Yeah, no point in doing that. They just need one more enchantment that was game over. So, uh, not sure. Not sure what they're waiting on. The double strike? Okay. Attacking with. What? what are they doing? You have four. You have five, six, sixes. I mean, I just gotta keep whittling away until I, I can meat hook my own things here. Henrikus? Good. That is good. Get rid of the blood fountain. Uh, what do we do here, though? Let's get cards. Oh, I, I tapped out. I couldn't do that. Okay. Uh, or just no attacks. That's fine. My luck out? Yeah, no, yeah, who knows? Who the hell knows? How do they not have another enchantment? Oh, there they go. They're finally attacking everybody here. Try to minimize it. Um... Actually, that kind of ruins my meat hook plan. It's one of those times we probably should just play it for zero. Wow, why? Why? I do not understand what their thought process is here. I I'm blown away. I don't get that. And you not now you're just handing me the game. Blood Fountain ability now too. Get some creatures back. Um, do that, and I'll do that. No, nope. what? What was the point of that Doom Scar? That's so dumb. All right, now they finally got their enchant their seventh enchantment here. Meat hook for two and then sacrifice the statue. Or meat hook for three. It's a good game. That was luck. That was 100% luck. Build these blood tokens. Get ready for the anvil. Um, no attack. Get 
Really now? That's rude. Anvil, get another anvil afterwards. Let's do this. This might be a match where I just throw down the meat hook for two just to, to get it out there soaring. No cost is too good. I didn't know this art. I didn't know this art was in this game. You fight for me. Save the meat hook, get rid of that guy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, let's see what they get. Take a soul transfer. You wish to know my secrets? Very well. A weird card to have. Okay, oh, return teacher plays with very to hand. Mm, okay, okay. The other one is exile target creature plays with No big deal. Oh, big deal. Ah, you would. See what I mean? That's what I told you. I just should play meat hook to zero. Though, mm, uh, Henrika doesn't really do anything for me here. Play for three. At least get some, something out of that. All right, meat hooks offset. Set to go. Uh, we'll we'll save the anvils. Get the vampire back. Ship. Hello, ship. Another Henrika. Hmm. Hmm. Get a card draw. Ah, uh, just missed. Just missed that. Actually, can we put it down? We can. Okay, let's build the token. This is good. Thinking. You can waste removal on it. I'm okay with that. I'll get what I need to out of it. It's fine. Waste of a card on your part. Alright, they don't take Nothing it. Nothing on is free. Oh, it's creature or planeswalker. Hmm, fine, fine, fine. How did I miss that? Yeah, I was just I was just reading that too fast. Hmm, shambling gas. Alright, I don't want to have Rika down that feed to right, let's just let's just transform her. I know card draw is good though. Let's 
Two for one here. You do get extra extra damage out of that. It's it's it's, it's a one it's a one for one. Do you want this card draw though? Hold back. Hmm. Hold on to that. A bunch of token critters might help us out here. And we could cast it pretty cheap with uh since we have Henry Kadamathi out. I am enjoying this. This this is fun. Little 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 control y back and forth type of thing going on here. I twitch. I can't channel on the end step. Get that going. Huh, let's see. I don't want to do the sacrifice because they have things that they would want to sacrifice here, so that's no bueno. Let's make the tokens. I just hold it back for a blocker. A good idea, actually. Still soaring. Cast and Tom Lee Joan. <laughs> if he's Iron Man, oh my god, he'd be the oldest Iron Man ever. It's all rickety. Things have not gone my way. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're doing it right. We got a we got a big meat hook opportunity. I guess it doesn't really do anything though because of their meat hook massacre. Yeah. They didn't have though. We have a fantastic, fantastic meat hook shot here. Went for the sciences at this point in the game. You don't have uh. No mascots? Your choice. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Not sure what their goal is here. Blood on the snow? Blood on the snow. You know what they're doing. The meat hook triggers. Still hurt you. If you get if 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 it resolves to zero life, you lose the game. Just remember that. I think I might have lost before like that. Or I might have won. One or the other. I was like super surprised. I'm like, oh, that worked. Nice. Yes, please. This was what a great draw. What a great draw. Your blood will be mine. Hey, it's a, it's not a big game. You can count it. You, you know what I mean? Coke despair. Ah, fuck you. I 
will not abandon you. This is where I'll play, I'll play the meat hook for, for zero, just so you I can offset their meat hook. With this annoyance. I want to keep that artifact there, because we can turn it into a 3 1. Nice. Nice. A zero? A firm zero. That's what I want to do. So let's do a one here. Oh no, we can do it again. Oh, I love that ability. I forgot that was going to happen. Three. Three attackers. Up, up, up. They got a bullshit uh, blood on the snow. They do. Yeah, yes. Slowly picking away. There it is. There it is. I love Soren. Ah, oh, you would have that fucking card. Oh, land. Kill me, man. This one. That's all it takes. <laughs> See if we could do something here. That's it, baby. They held on to that. Uh, blow me. 